Saint Helena, Ascension and Tristan da Cunha is a British overseas territory located in the South Atlantic and consisting of the island of Saint Helena, Ascension Island and the archipelago of Tristan da Cunha. Its name was Saint Helena and Dependencies until 1 September 2009, when a new constitution came into force giving the three islands equal status within the territory. Despite this change, the whole territory is still commonly referred to as simply Saint Helena after its main island. Similarly, the demonym Saint Helenians or Saints and the derived name for the local nationality is commonly understood to include Ascension Islanders and Tristanians, as well. History of volcanic origin, the islands of St. Helena, Ascension Island, and Tristan da Cunha were all formerly separate colonies of the English Crown, though separately discovered by several Portuguese explorers between 1502 and 1504. Portuguese discovery The Portuguese found St. Helena uninhabited, with an abundance of trees and freshwater. They imported livestock, fruit trees and vegetables, and built a chapel and one or two houses. Though they formed no permanent settlement, the island became crucially important for the collection of food and as a rendezvous point for homebound voyages from Asia. English privateer Francis Drake very probably located the island on the final lap of his circumnavigation of the world 1577 Further visits by other English explorers followed, and, once St. Helena's location was more widely known, English warships began to lie in wait in the area to attack Portuguese carracks on their way home from India. In developing their Far East trade, the Dutch also began to frequent the island and made a formal claim to it in 1633, but did not settle the isle and by 1651 largely abandoned it in favour of their colony at the Cape of Good Hope. English and British colonisation In 1657, the English East India Company was granted a charter to govern St Helena by Oliver Cromwell, and the following year the company decided to fortify and colonise the island with planters. The first governor, Captain John Dutton, arrived in 1659, and it is from this date that St Helena claims to be Britain's second oldest remaining colony, after Bermuda. A fort was completed and a number of houses were built. After the restoration of the British monarchy in 1660, the East India Company received a royal charter giving it the sole right to fortify and colonise the island. The fort was renamed James Fort and the town Jamestown, in honour of the Duke of York and heir apparent, later King James II of England and VII of Scotland. The Kingdom of England became part of the New Kingdom of Great Britain in 1707 and then the United Kingdom in 1801. The British Empire grew into a global great power. The most important and first settled, the island of St. Helena, had been governed by the East India Company since 1659. It became internationally known as the British government's chosen place of exile of Napoleon Bonaparte, who was detained on the island from October 1815 until his death on 5 May 1821, and it was made a British Crown colony in 1834 by the Government of India Act 1833. Unoccupied Ascension Island was garrisoned by the Royal Navy on the 22nd of October 1815, shortly after which the end of the Age of Sail made its difficult location in the equatorial doldrums less important relative to its strategic importance as a centrally positioned naval coaling station. For similar reasons Tristan da Cunha was annexed as a dependency of the Cape Colony British South Africa on 14 August 1816, at the settlement of the Napoleonic Wars. For a short period just previously, Tristan da Cunha had been inhabited by a private American expedition who named the territory the Islands of Refreshment. The political union between these colonies began to take shape on 12 September 1922, when by letters patent Ascension Island became a dependency of St. Helena. Lightly populated Tristan da Cunha, even today little more than an outpost with a population of less than 300, followed suit on 12 January 1938. The three island groups shared this constitutional relationship until 1 September 2009, when the dependencies were raised to equal status with St. Helena and the territory changed its name from St. Helena and Dependencies to St. Helena, Ascension and Tristan da Cunha. 
World War II and subsequent military presence. During the Battle of the Atlantic of World War II and the following several years of U-boat warfare in the Atlantic, both St. Helena and Ascension Island were used by the Allies to base patrolling anti-surface commerce raider and anti-submarine warfare forces against the Axis powers naval units. Initially long-range naval patrol flying boats were used in the effort, and later in the war during the struggle to improve air coverage over the commercially important sea lanes, air strips were built to support land-based aircraft which supplied, augmented and complemented the PBY Catalina patrol planes in the vitally important ASW mission. The United Kingdom and the United States still jointly operate the airfield RAF Ascension Island on Ascension, which also serves as a space-based communications, signals intelligence, and navigation nexus and hub ground station. One of only four GPS satellite ground antennas is located there. Geography <laughs> 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 The territory stretches across a huge distance of the South Atlantic Ocean with the northernmost island, Ascension, having a latitude of 7 degrees 56 s of the equator and the southernmost island, Gough Island, at 40 degrees 19 s between St. Helena and Tristan da Cunha is the Tropic of Capricorn. The distance between the northern tip of Ascension Island and the southern tip of Gough Island is 2,263 miles 3 an equivalent distance between London and the Dead Sea. The whole territory lies in the Western Hemisphere and has the same time zone, Greenwich Mean Time. Daylight saving time is not observed. Although all three parts of the territory were formed by volcanic activity, only the Tristan da Cunha group of islands are volcanically active at the moment. The highest point of the territory is Queen Mary's Peak on the island of Tristan da Cunha, with an elevation of 2,062 metres 6 feet above sea level. The mountain is listed as an ultra-prominent peak. Topic. Climate. Topic. Because of the massive distance from north to south over 3,600 kilometers 2, miles, the territory has various climates. Ascension has a warm, arid climate, with temperatures all year long into the 20 degrees Celsius. St. Helena is more moderate and arid near the coasts. Tristan da Cunha, being closer to the Antarctic Circle, is much cooler and a lot wetter. The uninhabited southernmost Gough Island is wetter and has freezing winter temperatures. Topic: Territorial waters. Topic: The territorial waters of the islands extend out to 12 nautical miles (22 kilometers) from their coastal baselines. The exclusive economic zones (EEZs) extend 200 nautical miles (370 kilometers) from the islands' baselines. Despite their size, the three EEZs do not overlap or touch one another, nor do they reach the EEZs of any other country or territory. The territory has the largest EEZ of any of the British Overseas Territories indeed larger than the United Kingdoms and if included in the ranking of countries by size of EEZ, the territory would be 21st, behind Portugal and ahead of the Philippines. Neither the islands nor their EEZs are the subject of any current international dispute. An application was made in 2008 by the United Kingdom to the United Nations Commission on the Limits of the Continental Shelf to extend the limit of the Continental Shelf claim of Ascension Island beyond 200 nautical miles 370 kilometers. The Commission recommended in 2010 that the limit not be extended beyond the standard limit, based on scientific surveys. Topic. Administrative divisions. Topic. Administratively, the territory is divided into the same three parts as the territory's geography, namely St. Helena, Ascension and Tristan da Cunha. Each is governed by a council. The governor of the territory presides over the St. Helena Legislative Council, while he or she is represented by an administrator on Ascension Island and an administrator on Tristan da Cunha that preside over these two areas. Island councils. See Constitution section below. The island of St. Helena is then further divided into eight districts. Topic. Constitution 
the St. Helena, Ascension and Tristan da Cunha Constitution Order 2009 an order in Council of the Privy Council of the United Kingdom enacted a new constitution for the territory, which came into effect on 1 September 2009. Although raising Ascension and Tristan da Cunha to equal status with St. Helena, the constitution is divided into three chapters, one for each part of the territory. St. Helena has a governor and a legislative council, whilst Tristan da Cunha and Ascension each have an administrator and an island council. Notably the constitution includes for each part of the territory the fundamental rights and freedoms of individuals. St. Helena also has an executive council. The governor of St. Helena is the British monarch's representative across the territory. The three parts of the territory share the same Attorney General, and the same Supreme Court and Court of Appeal. European Union the territory is an overseas country or territory of the European Union, with limited aspects of European Union membership applied to its administration, its laws and its citizens. It does not however form part of the European Union the only British overseas territory that does is Gibraltar. Religion most residents of St. Helena belong to the Anglican Communion and are members of the Diocese of St. Helena, which has its own bishop and includes Ascension Island. Roman Catholics are pastorally served by the Missio Sui Iuris of St. Helena, Ascension and Tristan da Cunha, whose office of ecclesiastical superior is vested in the Apostolic Prefecture of the Falkland Islands. Currency. <inaudible> <inaudible> St. Helena used sterling currency as in the United Kingdom until 1976 when it began to issue its own banknotes at par with sterling. In 1984, the territory also began to issue its own coinage, similar to the coinage of the United Kingdom but with different designs on the reverse. The St. Helena currency also circulates on Ascension Island, but not in the other part of the territory, Tristan da Cunha, where UK currency circulates. The currency commissioners, part of the government of St. Helena, issue the St. Helena pound banknotes and coins. There is no central bank, with the currency pegged to pound sterling which is controlled by the Bank of England in London. The Bank of St. Helena is the territory's only bank. The bank sets its own deposit and lending rates and has branches in Jamestown on St. Helena and Georgetown on Ascension Island. Although the bank does not have a physical presence on Tristan da Cunha, the residents of Tristan are entitled to use its services. Communications Telecommunications Shore South Atlantic provide the telecommunications service in the territory. St. Helena has the International Calling Code Plus 290 which, since 2006, Tristan da Cunha shares. Telephone numbers are four digits long. Numbers start with 1 to 9, with 8XXX being reserved for Tristan da Cunha numbers and 2XXX for Jamestown. Ascension Island has the Calling Code Plus 247 and also has four digit numbers on the island. Ascension Island also held an extensive broadcast facility for international shortwave transmissions to Africa and South America. Mail Ascension Island, Tristan da Cunha and St. Helena all issue their own postage stamps, which provide a significant income. The three main islands of the territory each has its own Royal Mail Postal Code. Ascension Island, ASCN 1ZZ St. Helena, STHL 1ZZ Tristan da Cunha, TDCU 1ZZ Flags Currently as of October 2018 there is no official flag for the whole of the overseas territory so the flag of the United Kingdom is used for all official purposes however each of the three individual islands do have their own official flags which are used for official purposes. 
Between 2002 and 2013 St. Helena and Tristan da Cunha each had their own separate flags whilst Ascension Island used the Union flag and before 2002 the flag of St. Helena was used in Tristan da Cunha for all official purposes. St. Helena the flag of St. Helena was adopted on 4 October 4, 1984. It is a defaced i.e. differentiated blue ensign, i.e., a blue field with the Union Jack in the upper hoist side quadrant and the shield from the coat of arms of St. Helena centered on the outer half of the flag. The shield features a rocky coastline and three-masted sailing ship, with a St. Helena plover, also known as a wirebird, atop. Topic. Ascension Island. The flag of Ascension Island was adopted on the 11th of May 2013. The flag is a blue ensign design, defaced with the coat of arms of Ascension Island. Prior to the adoption of this flag, the island used the Union flag of the United Kingdom for official purposes. Prior to the adoption of the current flag, the Union flag was used for all official purposes. Topic: Tristan da Cunha. Topic. The flag of Tristan da Cunha was adopted on 20 October 2002, in a proclamation made by the Governor of St. Helena under a royal warrant granted by Queen Elizabeth II. Prior to this, as a dependency of St. Helena, Tristan da Cunha used the flag of St. Helena for official purposes. The flag is a blue ensign design, defaced with the coat of arms of Tristan da Cunha a Tristan longboat above a naval crown, with a central shield decorated with four yellow-nosed albatrosses and flanked by two Tristan rock lobsters. Below this is a scroll with the territory's motto, Our Faith is Our Strength. Transport Maritime transport Topic. Each of the three main islands has a harbor or small port, situated in the islands' chief settlement Georgetown, Jamestown, and Edinburgh. In addition St. Helena has a 118 meters long permanent wharf facility, built as part of the airport project, in Rupert's Bay for bulk, containerized and general cargoes as well as passenger landings. Topic. Airports. St. Helena Airport received its first scheduled commercial flight on 14 October 2017. Commercial flights, operated by Airlink, using an Embraer E-190, are scheduled from OR Tombo Airport in Johannesburg each Saturday, returning the same day or Sunday on weekends where the extension to Ascension Island is operating. Commercial flights between St. Helena and Ascension Island operate on the second Saturday of each month, with the aircraft returning to St. Helena on the Sunday, before continuing on to Johannesburg. A military airfield exists on Ascension Island, RAF Ascension Island though potholes on the runway resulted in the April 2017 cancellation of all but essential personnel, supply flights as well as emergency medical evacuations. Regular RAF flights connected Ascension with RAF Bryce Norton in the UK and RAF Mount Pleasant in the Falkland Islands, a transport link called the South Atlantic Air Bridge. The flights are mainly to transport military personnel, though the RAF did allow fair-paying civilians to use them. Ascension Island is also used by the US military which supply the base using MV Ascension and was a designated emergency landing site for the Space Shuttle program. The islands of Tristan da Cunha can only be accessed by sea since the lack of a known airport. Topic. Vehicular traffic Topic. St. Helena has 138 kilometers 86 miles 118 kilometers 73 miles paved and 20 kilometers 12 miles unpaved of roads. Tristan da Cunha has approximately 10 kilometers, 6.2 miles of paved roads, while Ascension has around 40 kilometers, 25 miles paved. Each island has its own vehicle registration plate system. Traffic drives on the left in all three parts of the territory, as is the case in the United Kingdom itself. Two of the nearest countries to the islands, South Africa and Namibia, also drive on the left. 
Topic Maps Topic Topic See also Topic Bibliography of Saint Helena, Ascension and Tristan da Cunha British Overseas Territories List of towns in St. Helena, Ascension and Tristan da Cunha Public holidays in St. Helena, Ascension and Tristan da Cunha References External links the official government website of St. Helena The official government website of Ascension Island The official Tristan da Cunha website Radio St. FM live broadcasting from St. Helena St. Helena Online UK-based news website, in partnership with the St. Helena Independent. St. Helena, Ascension and Tristan da Cunha. The World Factbook. Central Intelligence Agency.